introducing our speaker for the day. Her name is Ms. Samantha Chasen. She is the director of the Speaking Studio. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. How are you? Good to you. She's a former lecturer at the Mass Comm Department here at NCCU. Um, she received her degree from um, North Carolina a <coughs> &T, um, your master's from Norfolk, Norfolk State University, mm -hmm. my alma mater. And so uh, please have your eyes open, your thoughts clear. If y'all have any questions, feel free to ask. I will be um, getting your information so you can get, you can get um, part of the participation of coming. So without further ado, Ms. Samanda Chase. All right. Good morning. How's everybody? Good. Why don't we, before we move any further, take a moment and greet the one who's sitting closest to you. So a simple hello, good to see you. All right, it's a pleasure. As Ms. Price stated, I am a former lecturer in the Mass Comm Department. Any Mass Comm majors present? Yes, sir. Okay, good stuff. What are some of the other areas of expertise that are present today? Psychology. Marketing. Good morning. Good morning. All right, let's greet our fellow family member. Okay, we are a family all here striving for success. All right, any other areas of expertise that are present that weren't mentioned other than psycho psychology and mass comp? Say it again. Criminal justice. Criminal justice. Okay, all right. <clears throat> What's your major? Exercise science. Exercise science. All right. Nursing. Okay. Okay. Good stuff. Nonetheless, we have a variety present and I hope that each of you will be able to take something with you. Fair enough? Yes. Coming around or what has been circulated are two things. The first one is the white instructional worksheet. I'm asking that we utilize this to identify key components, key elements, um, highlighted points, thoughts, idea as we move through this presentation, okay? The second, the yellow worksheet is a frame, a suggested template that you may utilize in the future, okay? Fair enough? All right, so as mentioned, I am Samanda Chasten. So welcome to the Eagle Talent Series, brought to you by the Speaking Studio, and today is March 7th, so I offer you a happy Tuesday. Yes? Jumpstart to the great productive week that will remain ahead. I am, or rather by a show of hands, anyone familiar with the Speaking Studio? No? Okay, good stuff. So the speaking studio is housed under an umbrella entitled the Quality Enhancement Plan. And this plan is designed to assist each of you uh, in enhancing and strengthening your oral communication skills as well as your ability to write, okay, across the curriculum. So it's a vital, essential, critical tool resource that has been made available to each of you. So I encourage you to come check us out. We are located in the lower level of the Taylor Education Building. Are we familiar with the location of that building? Okay, great. So we assist or we offer a host of services, um, both small group sessions or one-on-one -on -one sessions, opportunities for you to strengthen and enhance your skill base upon classroom-driven tasks. Possibly you are working on interviewing skills, you're preparing for job fairs or internships, or some of you may be graduating and hoping for that ideal job, yes? Or simply developing and maintaining our basic need of communication, interpersonal skills. Fair enough? Awesome. So will I see each of you at some point? Yes. Okay, great stuff. <clears throat> okay. All right, so we have some pen. Yep, we can go to the next one. We have some pens in hand. Ready? All right, so let's take a walk. Let's take a walk down memory lane. For some of you, it may have been as early as last semester, the fall semester. For others of us, it may have been last academic year, possibly a year or two out. Nonetheless, we can take this walk down memory lane. So let's pause and greet who? Your fellow family member? Hello. Hi. All right, come on in. 
So nonetheless, you remember when you were strongly anticipating, wanting, desiring, hoping for this new experience, this new phase in life to attend a four-year institution of learning. Not only a four-year institution, but what? A historically black university, yes? All right, so you talked about it, you dreamt about it, you anticipated, you were highly excited, yes? Okay, graduation has set, it's time to transition into the next phase of life. So it arrives. We drop off or a family brings us forth, yes. We arrive, we become settled, and then we begin to maneuver into the start of the semester or the start of the academic year. And guess what? At some point, you're confronted with the feeling of, this is not what I anticipated right? This is not what was expected. This is not what I hoped for, right? Okay. I'm scattered. It's a lot going on. I have increased academic loads, right? I have financial hardships, right? I have this lingering feeling of homesick or of being homesick, okay? Maybe I thought, but it isn't. I hope but it what? Isn't. I felt, but it wasn't. Nonetheless, I need a friendly reminder as to what my purpose is. I'm scattered. Okay. Some of us reminders of what our purpose is, our focus, our target. Others of us are in search of our purpose. Correct? Yes. Okay. Nonetheless, I need to find my way. The purpose, the topic of today is speaking with a purpose. Okay. Speaking with a purpose. Nonetheless, before we can move any forward or forward, we need to understand and establish an understanding as to what it means to speak with a purpose. Behind speaking with a purpose, you see communication. So before we move forward, let's identify, assign a meaning of the term communication. <clears throat> According to the textbook Making Connections, authored by Jay Seeler in 2014, he offers the definition of communication. The simultaneous sharing and creating of meaning through human symbolic interaction. The latter part, through human symbolic interaction. That simply suggests not only are we communicating in the verbal context, but also the nonverbal way context. It suggests that communication is ongoing. There's no starting or stopping point. As I am sending messages, I am in turn what? Receiving and interpreting messages, assigning. So it's fair to note here that my verbal complements my nonverbal and my nonverbal complements my what? Verbal. All merge together to assist me in operating within my purpose. Fair enough? Questions or concerns as, as it pertains to the definition of communication? Okay. <clears throat> so it's safe to say that through both my personal and professional experiences, I have noted that opportunities do not come quite frequently. Okay. Opportunities do not show themselves frequently. Okay. It has also helped me to understand that I need to be able to make sound and informed judgments when it comes to opportunities. I need to be able to determine what's best appropriate or most appropriate, what's suitable for me in this season, in this particular phase of my life. But in order to make an informed decision, I have to be in tune with what my purpose is. Correct? Okay. Remember that feeling? Scattered? all over the place, uncertain as to what my purpose, my target, my focus is? Well, in order to seize the opportunity, in order to embark and select the ideal opportunities best suited for me, I need to know and be reminded of my purpose. Okay, so how do I do that? I constantly explore, I'm constantly researching, I'm constantly exposing myself to various vessels that will remind me of my purpose, that will hold me accountable in com 
in conquering or maintaining and strongly reflecting my purpose. Fair enough? Okay, great. So let's go to the next one. So at this point, you and I can expect opportunities. We are hoping for opportunities. You all began this collegiate reign with the mindset that I'm going to experience, okay? So through this experience, right, throughout your collegiate reign, you're hoping for opportunities that would lead to other what? Opportunities, correct? But we must understand that opportunities carry expiration dates. Just like seasons come to an end, so do what? Opportunities. Opportunities have the expiration date. So the question to you is, are you aiming to fulfill your purpose? Are you able to determine and select the ideal opportunity that has presented itself for you in this operating season? A lot of times, you can go to the next one, thank you. We have this window, various windows that are open in our lives. This window reflects this aspect of me. Another window reflects this aspect of me. Another window reflects a certain aspect of me. A lot of windows are open and they all lead to opportunities. But the key is utilizing an arrow to find aim, to direct, guide, solidify, or single out this special opportunity or purpose so that you can lead or expect victory or a success. Not saying that every time you will find yourself at the finish line jumping for joy, but it may suggest that you will be exposed to the opportunity to reflect and to observe, to self-evaluate and analyze, okay? Victory. You have to know and be familiar with, where, with, what and what, with what and where your purpose is in this particular phase of life. I would encourage you to close some of those windows. And we're going to go back. I'm sorry. We're going to uh, close some of those windows and look out one window that will allow us direct aim to the purpose of where you are in your freshman year, where you are in your sophomore experience, where you are in your junior experience. Seasons end, end so do opportunities, expiration dates. So by the end of this presentation, I hope that we can discuss further opportunities. Yes, understand that purpose exists. Go in a little deeper as, as to what it means to speak with a, pers a purpose. And lastly, address any questions or concerns. Thoughts, feelings, ideas, comments. So we're gonna pause right here. For the next two or three minutes, I ask that you look at the instructional worksheet, the white one. At the top of it, I want you to identify your purpose right now. Where you are currently in this thing called life, what is your purpose? What is your purpose, okay? Remember that the window gives you aim and a view. Just like in any opportunity or any instance in, when you're, in which you are viewing or looking out of a window, you see things that could show as a distraction, a possible distortion to your message. These distractions, these hurdles, these obstacles could be that of doubt. It could be that of low self-esteem. It could be that of financial hardships. It could be that of increased workload. It could be that I am a student athlete. Obstacles, something that could what? Distort your vision, distort your aim. But we have to find the purpose. So the next few minutes, you should be able to identify your purpose for the operating season of this time. No, that's fine. your purpose. Where you are right now. So after you have identified your purpose, please list a few distortions, distractions that may hinder 
you having a clear view, a clear aim of your purpose? Could it be uh, the challenge of maintaining and building relationships? Could it be um, that I'm battling with weight gain, possibly drastic weight loss? I may be uh, distorted because I am battling depression. What are factors that could contribute to distorting or distracting your aim? <clears throat> mm -hmm. No, 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 no. So how's it coming? Have you identified your purpose? Okay. For this season, alongside possible distractions or distortions. Anyone want to share their purpose in this season right now? What's your purpose? No right or wrong. It's just who you are, where you are. Yes, sir. To overcome the stress. To overcome the stress. Okay. That's your purpose. Any distortions or distractions that may be hindering you from having a clear aim of that purpose? Schoolwork. Schoolwork. Okay. Good stuff. Any others? Thank you for sharing. Come on. Someone. Yes, ma'am. Uh huh. You're a student, so that's your purpose. That's your focus. All right. Anything that's causing a distraction for you? Your social life. I like it. It's honesty, it's raw. Okay. Any others? Purpose. Student to, to be a successful student athlete, yes. And what are some possible distractions? Also social, life. also social life. Okay, all right. This is good stuff. So as we move through this presentation, not only have you identified your purpose and possible distractions, by the end of the presentation, it is my hope, right, that we can identify possible options to refocus the game. Okay, to eliminate and to remove those possible distractions. Yeah? Okay, good stuff. Let's move forward. <clears throat> so it's safe to say that a purpose always exists through your spoken word, through your written word, through your body language, through your lifestyle, your appearance, through your personal mannerisms. Remember, communication occurs simultaneously in, the, in both the verbal context and the nonverbal context. So it simply suggests this. What I'm offering or my purpose that's being offered verbally must be complemented through my nonverbal be, be, behavior. <laughs> Okay. So if becoming a successful student athlete is my purpose, I then have to think about the nonverbal behavior, making sure that the nonverbal aligns with the what? The verbal. Okay. Purpose always exists. <clears throat> Reasons as to why we need to speak with a purpose, speaking, sending a message, communication, both verbal and nonverbal, career development. Operating with a purpose for you all, career,
academic development. It's the reason why you're granted recommendation letters. Okay. It's the reason why you're offered internships. It's the reason why you are networking and building strong rapports with your mentors and your professors or professional connections here on the yard. Okay. Ethical behavior, cultural diversity, and of course, technological demands. We are a society that is heavily, heavily driven by what? Technology. Technology has strongly impacted the way in which we communicate face to face. Purpose. What is my purpose as I operate or aim to have a successful lifestyle? Communication is inevitable. We engage in it from day to what? Day. Both verbally and non-verbally. Speaking with a purpose. So when it comes to speaking with a purpose, <clears throat> specifically speaking with a purpose based upon classroom driven tasks or assignments here at the university, if not already, I'm sure you will see or witness that you are expected to produce several or a host of oral communication or oral presentations, oral speeches. So what does it mean to speak with a purpose? That's exactly what we're going to examine closely. But if I have a general idea of as to what my overall frame, my overall purpose is, this right here is a breeze. Preparation, being able to organize and simply deliver, P-O-D. If you look at the front side of the instructional worksheet, you will see it. Prepare, organize, and deliver. Prepare, organize, and deliver. My purpose, I'm a student. Prepare, organize, deliver. I want to be a successful student athlete, prepare, organize, deliver, okay. P-O-D. Let's go with prepare. What does it mean to prepare? Classroom driven task, <clears throat> select a topic, conducting research and choosing supportive material. Selecting topics, conducting research and choosing supportive materials. A lot of times the topic Proves, proves itself or is given to us. In other instances, we have to determine what our subject matter, our topic of discussion, our topic of behavior will be. Okay. So from day to day, when you jumpstart and approach the university, what's your topic? What's your purpose? If you are uncertain as to what it is you want to discuss, both verbally and non-verbally, I encourage you to, one, brainstorm. Begin doing some self-inventory. Tap into social media that will offer trending topics. Choose to review the media. See what's out there, what's being said, what's being done. Selecting your topic. Therefore, you can then determine your purpose. Heavily attach. Usually your purpose is the overall arch, the frame, the goal, the objective. Once you identify your general purpose, we can then move to the specific purpose. Yes, that means the precise reasons. So from day to day in your walk, in this current phase, in this season of your life, not only in classroom driven tasks, you then select your topic, determine what your purpose is. Okay. Conducting research suggests this, develop a research plan. That means begin or, early, or rather jumpstart, develop an early start to it. Decide what sources are best suited for your purpose, your subject matter. Okay. Determine what sources are best suited for your subject matter or your purpose. Two of you stated that socialization, right, is a possible distortion to what? Your purpose, correct? Decide, conducting research, what sources are best suited for your purpose. Fair enough? Okay. Determine, I'm sorry, I'm in your way, <clears throat> that you can make concrete specific notes. And, la and lastly, see if what you're doing falls in the correct parameters and guidelines of the assignment, of the purpose of the task.
So there are a host of sources that you could expose yourself to. What are some sources to support your topic of choice, right? You have dictionaries, you have almanacs, you have stati statistical publications, you have uh, new, I'm sorry, um, newspapers, magazines, blogs, a host of sources. A lot of us go to the library as a starting point and it also serves as our ending point. Okay. Sometimes you have to determine, is it necessary for me to venture out? but conducting research in efforts to support my topic. Research also provides levels of credibility. How are you warranted to discuss this topic? How are you warranted to display this purpose? Credibility. A lot of times you may have witnessed in certain instances, um, someone saying, so according to uh, research, in a recent movie I watched, it said, but learning to give credit where credit is due, specific credit. State what film. Offer the year of publication. Identify the specified source incorporated. Lastly, choosing supportive materials. Okay, I like to say put your face to the facts. In other words, it's an opportunity for you to make the topic, the main pur purpose personal for your audience. So we have a host of illustrations, we have examples, we have statistics, we have polls, we have surveys. Okay. All hardcore evidence that will boost your topic, your subject matter. If you choose to incorporate personal experience, <clears throat> that's great, especially if you're aiming to develop connections, rapports with your listeners. So nonetheless, we have our purpose in view, we're standing at the window, remember we're closing some of these other windows, these various aspects of ourselves, right? Okay, distractions we're aiming to minimize. I need a clear view with this arrow of where I'm going for this semester or this upcoming ac <coughs> academic year. Select my topic, I'll conduct some research, and then I will choose my supportive material. This is all self-evaluation. Okay. Let's go to the next one. So now that we have an understanding as to how to prepare, we can then begin to what? Organize. Organize, Organize the body of your presentation and add a nice intro and conclusion. Very simple. When it comes to organizing the body of any presentation, you will always have an introduction, you will always have a body, you will always have a conclusion. So if your four-year stint here at NCCU, your introduction was your what? Freshman year. The body is what you do in between the heart, the, the meat, the substance, the activities that you participate in, the membership that you will begin to establish, the rapports that you will then develop. The conclusion is what? Senior year, graduation, right? This phase, this season is coming to a what? An end. <clears throat> In the body of the speech, you will have main topics. So what will others be able to determine about your stint here within that four year time frame? What were your main objectives? What were your focal points of discussion? What was your purpose? Year one, year two, year three, year four. Then you will attach a nice intro and conclusion. An introduction is your opportunity to connect, to build rapport, to establish who you are and why you should care about me. Okay. Your conclusion is simply leaving your audience with a memorable close. So then you have to decide, how will I leave NCCU? Okay. Will I exit with the bang, all right, a 4.0, graduate with honors? Maybe I will have the ideal job that I've been striving to, to land, to conquer over the past three years. What memorable clothes will I leave my listeners? I come in with the intent to captivate you. I exit with the intent to leave something for you so that I am what? Remembered. Fair enough? Okay. So we have preparation. Now we're organized. 
sorting, arranging, developing a systematic, reliable whole, the substance. Lastly, we then focus on the delivery. Using visual aids, considering your language, and developing the delivery. Developing the delivery. Visual aids are our accessories. So think about when you are taking that picture and posting it on social media because you know that you are that it factor in that moment, that approach, that nonverbal behavior that complements the caption that you've offered. Using your visual aids to boost your support or rather your purpose. It's not your purpose, it's there to enhance and to strengthen the subject matter or the messages that are intended for your audience. The visual aid should always contain limited text. It's nothing or not a situation where you're looking to overwhelm people. It's there to assist you. In, in, in other words, we're not looking to be dependent upon, but as a strong reference point, my visual aid. So think about your appearance from day to day. My visual aids. Does it align with my purpose? Does it strongly reflect or assist my purpose? Visual aids. Next we have considering language. Oftentimes we prepare drafts and that ends up being our final draft. When it comes to producing quality products, you have to spend time and exert effort and energy. In doing that, you write and you rewrite, you revise and you edit. You're aiming to apply a vivid outlook. You need to develop, right, something of life and something of substance, an opportunity to really reel your listeners in. So how do I do that? I have to consider my language. And because we've already established that communication is both verbal and what? Nonverbal. So, what is my language suggesting? Does it align with my overall purpose in this season? And lastly, how am I developing the delivery? That means the nonverbal behaviors in conjunction with the verbal, so my voice, okay, my facial expression, the use of my hand gestures, right? They must complement one another. Okay. If I say my purpose is this, my verbal and my nonverbal must align. So my bodily movements, my postures, all of those components assist in developing the delivery. So we have P for prepare, O for organize, and D for delivery. <clears throat> Remember, the goal is to be a better you, a more effective you a more confident you, a more focused you, a more what? Targeted you. Because now I have a window of opportunity in this season, a, a window of opportunity that is allowing me to find direct aim of my purpose so that I can expect a victory or success of some sort. Fair enough? Okay, good stuff. Lastly, We're back to the speaking studio, a part of this window of opportunity. Yes? Okay. Think about the body, the four-year stint that you are here. What will be your supportive material? What and how will it assist you in really executing and leaving with a memorable close once this season is over? Expiration date, right? So for the next two to three minutes, I want you all to jot down key thoughts, key ideas, key feelings, highlights from this mini presentation. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? What, if anything, are you able to take from this presentation? Okay. Then we're going to address any questions or concerns. Fair enough? Awesome. Focus, purpose, finding, aiming, success, victory.
prepare, prepare for this purpose. Organize, determine what will be the meat, your topic. How will you support? How will you establish credibility? What research plan will you attach to your purpose? What supportive materials will you engage? And now that I have my purpose identified, I have established my research plan, I then can deliver. So what's my day-to-day -day delivery suggesting? Is it reflecting my purpose? Does it align with my purpose? All right, so let's talk, let's discuss a little bit. What are some highlights that you're able to take away from this presentation? Anyone? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, did we hear her? Okay, no? All right, can you say it again? It makes it easier to cancel your distractions. Excellent. Others of us. Yes, sir. Have a purpose to what you say. Have a purpose to what you say. Yes, sir. So next time you receive that assignment and you have no idea of what it is that you want to discuss, right? Um, especially if the occasion or the audience doesn't designate this purpose, you have options of determining, right? Selecting a topic that is best suitable, suit, best suited for the task at hand. Yeah. Others of us, purpose, highlights. Everyone should have something written down. You should align your life with your purpose. You should align your life with your purpose, right? Both your verbal and your nonverbal behaviors <coughs> should reflect that of your purpose. Good stuff. Any others? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, how to effectively prepare for your goals and for your topics, okay? All right. Anyone else just pressing and dying to share? No? Okay, all right. Any questions, any comments, any thoughts, any concerns about what we've uh, experienced today? No? Okay, by a show of hands, how many of you feel the need to determine your purpose as you proceed forward. Good stuff, good stuff, okay. All right, so I already know that I'll see a lot of you, yes, at the studio at some point. Okay, good stuff. Thank you for allowing me this time to share, okay? And I look forward to seeing you all around campus. Thank you. Good. If you haven't, please come to me so you can get credit for attending.